In this video, we will see how to create a bypass ring using Clio and Rhino Gold. So, the idea is to start with the Gem Studio to define the first gem. In this case, the 6mm diameter. And here it is. So, now we are going to the sub D tab and we will start by defining the ring size so I'm going to load the ring tool and in here you will see in the side panel that we can choose the number of divisions so I just set to two divisions for all the sides and then the measurements I'm going to define 2.5 width and uh, here we go 2.5 on all let me change to smooth view and as you can see this is the shank we will have the ring size reference so now i will move my gem to the top of the ring so once we have the gem the next step I'm going to create the setting, so first I'm going to lock the, the shank and now I can define the bezel and the idea is to create the setting here. This looks good like this, let me change to shaded and once I create it I'm going just to move these central points just to make sure it will respect my ring size. So let's move up the central points a little bit and this way it will be respecting the ring size maybe we can adjust the position a little bit this looks perfect so now the next step I have the bezel I have the shank what I'm going to do is to uh, back to the top view and I'm going to delete some parts of the bezel so I'm going to delete half of it and then I can delete also this face let me just make sure I catch all the parts of the face maybe in the perspective yeah we can see that we still have some faces to delete so just make sure we delete all even we can change to wireframe to make sure we delete everything so now looks perfect so I'm going to close this cap, so I'm going to select the loop of edges and with a fill to, to close and the same in the other side. So now in the front view maybe I can hide the bezel and I'm going to delete also on the shank the parts I don't need. So in this case, faces selection mode, I delete off of the shank and also this top part, let me just steal it here. And now uh, everything looks good, the idea is to connect both parts in a single one. So the first thing is maybe adjust the position of the shank, looks good now i will also need to cap it and finally i can connect both faces with the bridge tool as you can see it looks really nice really smooth transition so i just click ok and i'm going to define the in this case the other part so i'm going to do the symmetry in this case opposite symmetry and now we have two parts i'm going to point selection mode and i'm going to weld this bottom point so we have the weld tool and as you can see now this is a single object a single part so the ring is almost ready as you can see really easy to do um, the only step I still miss is to place some gems on the shank so I'm going to get some curves with this extract clay iso curve so I'm just going to pick here the central line and once I have it now I can also um, convert my object to NURBS then it will be 
useful to have it in nerves for the booleans and so I just delete the original one this is my nerves object and I'm going to apply the gems on the curve so gems by curve and now we can define the position So the first thing I'm going to do is to define the gem size, 1.2 millimeters, and um, I'm going to create some copies along the curve. Let's see how many. First, I want to make sure um, the gems are oriented on the ring, so I just select the ring as reference object, and now I'm going to add more gems. So the idea is to, let me adjust here the end point, so I'm going to define number of gems, place it in here, I adjust the end position for the gems, and then everything. Okay, so I have the gems, what I miss now is the prongs to set all these gems and in this case I'm going to use the prongs in line. So let's go to the uh, jury tab, prongs in line tool and in here we just need to define the measurements of the prongs in the side panel and then the central point if we press the shift it will change the position and of course adapt to all the other prongs so this is the result I'm looking for two prongs between each two gems looks perfect let's apply here the material and it's almost ready the last step we just need to create the cutters to define the stone seat and then we are done so I'm going to the I'm going to define the pro the cutters for the gem so I just need to select all my gems so let's zoom in and select the group of gems and then uh, cutter studio I will use the number three from the library just double click so now it's applying the cutters to all the gems And now let's see all the cutters as you can see cutters apply it successfully and the last step is to perform the boolean difference to remove the, um, the cutters from the ring and we are done So here we go, modeling tab, boolean difference, first object the ring, second object the cutters. Preview and Just click OK to finish the boolean operation and we are ready. So this is the result. Let's take a look to the final render and thank you for watching.